Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. We are in my little man cave set up down here in the basement. <clears throat> Today, we are going to be installing some doorless mirrors for the TJ. Now I figured I would make this video, because why not, All right? Doing something to the Jeep, I should record it. So, for my birthday, my girlfriend got me some doorless mirrors, barricade, you probably can't read it because it's a little backwards. Um, barricade mirrors, I think um, they were from the fourwheelparts.com. They were like either 60 or $80. Looks like a very, let me unfold the paper. A very simple three-step process for one side. Now it's telling you these steps say to remove the mirror, put the arm on, then install or remove the door, arm, new arm on, and then install the mirror to the arm. But that doesn't make sense to me. Why not just install the mirror first and then put the arm on? Um, I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out when the time comes. But it even tells you what sockets you need. So we're going to take these off. I'm assuming those are the 13s. Take these off, put them on here, and then go remove the doors, put the doors probably downstairs or in the backyard. Put the mirrors on and see what we're working with. Well, I'm messing a ratchet and it happens to be the ratchet I need and I don't have any adapters. I don't know what happened to all my stuff in this toolkit. So I gotta use a sock or a, a wrench. goes down like that, so we want it like that. Number one, on. So because my toolkit is missing my size 15 socket, we grabbed a 9 16th socket. So that's what we're going to have to use to put the bolt and washer on so the mirror stays secure inside the door. Even for being crank windows and having no speakers, those doors are still pretty heavy, but close the gate. She's doorless and mirrorless, so time to pull her back into the street so nobody gets mad at me for parking in the alleyway. And then we can install the mirrors. So when you do this, when you put your mirrors on, make sure you have one set to where the arm's gonna go on the driver's side and one's gonna go on the passenger side. So just as easy, it should slide right in there, just like that. Obviously it's gonna move because we don't have the boys installed. This should work better. Damn it. I assume I just want to leave it loose enough to turn, but not loose enough to fall off. So that way I can still bend it while it's in there. Now for the other side. And now that they are on and tightened, I want to adjust them so I can see behind me while driving. So now we have mirrors. So now we're doorless with mirrors and not doorless and mirrorless. Well, I almost made a mistake. You cannot forget, hold this please, to pull your fuse for your lights right the number four fuse, bottom corner, well on mine at least, 
which is an 05. I don't know if they're all the same. Watch the lights. And they're gone. Lights are off. Fuse is pulled. Now, because that fuse is pulled, you cannot forget to turn your lights off when you are done driving. All right. Now, we are ready to roll out. Whew. Like I was saying, you can't forget to turn your lights off because the fuse is pulled. It's not registering that your lights will be on when you turn the vehicle off. Time to roll out with the doors off. That's wrong. It's actually 60 degrees outside. So I don't know how I managed to not record an outro for this video. So this is my outro. We didn't take any pictures or videos sadly of driving the only pictures i got of the doorless jeep with the mirrors are the one is uh that i use for the thumbnail so that's gonna do it for this video guys if you are new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button down below we are on the way to 2000 subs um if you enjoyed leave a thumbs up if there's other little mods you guys have done to your Jeep that are fairly inexpensive. Let me know in the comment section down below. I think my next inexpensive mod that we're going to do is probably grab some seat covers or and or do fog lights because my Jeep has a switch for the fog lights. The clips are there for the fog lights, but someone took the fog lights out of it when they put the aftermarket bumper on. But... I'll see you guys next video. Peace out.